These electric valves make possible fine electronic control over the fuel injection time, quantity, and the higher pressure that the common rail technology makes available providing better fuel atomization. In order to lower engine noise, the engine's electronic control unit can inject a small amount of diesel just before the main injection event. This is called pilot injection, thus reducing vibration as well as optimizing injection timing and quantity for variations in fuel quality and cold starting. Some advanced common rail fuel systems perform as many as 10 injections per stroke. Common rail engines require very short or no heating up time at all. They produce lower engine noise and emissions than older systems. Older diesel engine systems were limited by several factors. They were cam driven and injection pressure was proportional to engine speed. This typically meant that the highest injection pressure could only be achieved at the highest engine speed and the maximum achievable injection pressure decreased as engine speed decreased. The injection pressure is tied to the instantaneous pressure of a single injection event, making these systems more troublesome. They were limited in the number and timing of injection events that could be commanded during a single combustion event. For the typical distributor and lean system, the start of injection occurred at a predetermined pressure, also called pop pressure, and also ended at a predetermined pressure. This characteristic of dummy injectors in the cylinder head operated to open and close at pressures determined by the spring preload to the pintle in the fuel injector valve. Once the pressure in the injector reached a predetermined level, the pintle would lift and injection would start. In common rail systems, a high pressure pump stores a reservoir of fuel at high pressure of up to and above 29,000 psi. The term common rail refers to the fact that all of the fuel injectors are supplied by a common fuel rail, which is a pressure accumulator, where the fuel is stored at very high pressures. This accumulator supplies multiple fuel injectors with high pressure fuel. This simplifies the purpose of the high pressure pump in that it only has to maintain a specific pressure at a target, either mechanically or electronically controlled. The fuel injectors are typically ECU or computer controlled. When the fuel injectors are electrically activated, a piezoelectric injector is opened and fuel is sprayed into the cylinders at the desired pressure. Since the fuel pressure energy is stored remotely and the injectors are electrically actuated, the injection pressure at the start and end of injection is the same pressure in the accumulator thus producing a square injection pattern. In other words, the injection pressure and rate will be the same for each of the multiple injection events.